up everybody? Today we're going to do a little Strangin video. This funky looking thing is actually completely functional and it's fun to string, so let's do it. Last week I posted this to Instagram. I strung it up after I watched Greg's corner pocket video. I like corner pockets, I've strung a lot of them, but as I was cutting my mesh to string a corner pocket, I realized, hey, let's try something else. So I cut out the, the inside diamond and basically ended up with two four diamond pieces of mesh. So there's four diamonds on every row on each side. And I used leathers as my runners and did a little PETA dog track in the middle. Came out nice, throws beautifully, I love it, and it looks cool. For this one that we're gonna do today, I tried to make it a little more user-friendly. And instead of leathers, um, I thought about using thick nylon top string, like the shooter, down the middle for runners. And I like, well, let's make it even easier. I cut the mesh into four diamond pieces and then flipped it. So the outside edge of the mesh is on the inside, that thick part. And it, it's nice and thick, gives good purchase for the interlocks, and it works well. Throws beautifully, nice snappy release, uh, decent hold, but super fun to string. All right, to start, we're going to do our top string. And remember, we're going to have it with the outside edge on the inside. So it's just um, it's kind of a kind of a weird top string because I'm going to use every diamond and I think three of the the four holes on each side. So just go in two times like you would any normal top string. Wrap it around, lock it in. All right, so we've got that like that. Everything looks normal. All right, so then in that first top hole, we're going to go. And you can do this any way you like. If you have a different way you want to do the top string, I'm just showing you the way I did it. So in the head, and then out the first diamond. And this is kind of a pain, you know, when you're doing a, a dog track, you've got a lot of string. So just pull it through and deal. So we're gonna make sure that's tight. Now go find the end, go in the diamond, and then out that same top hole and just pull it tight. There's our first one. Now we will go in the head on the next hole, out the very next diamond. Pull it tight. In the diamond out the top hole and under just standard top string. Now let's do yeah, let's just do the third one. The third hole. I was gonna skip and go over, but this will be cool. We'll do it like this. Check in the front, make sure nothing's crossed. Looks good. All right, so now let's put this string aside and do our other side with the other string. good. So that's where we are so far. Pretty easy. All right, so once we've got our top string right here, I'm just going to leave these loose. 
I can get them out of the way, grab my sidewall strings, and do those. So, if you're a stringer, you've strung before, you've got a head you've probably strung before, just do a pattern that you like, that you know works for you. And there's nothing special about your pattern. You don't have to change it up for this pocket. Just do your normal sidewall stringing. Whatever pocket you like, you know, pocket placement, um, pattern, whatever. Just do how you normally would. So there's one side. <laughs> Looks pretty weird. Let's do the other one. So there we are. We've got our top, our sidewalls, and next we're going to do our dog track. Take this one and just wrap it around to the back and come out of the front once more. Just like that. Same thing over here. Give it a little tug, make sure it's tight. Now take this string and you're gonna cross over to this top hole, front to back. And same with the other one, just cross it over there. All right, so we've got that. Pull it tight, it's pretty cool. And now from here, we just take one over the other and then go down to the next hole with this one 
go in the front, out the back, and then pull it around over itself. So, see here, you're just coming over it. Like so, do the same on the other side. In the front, out the back, over the string. Now, right here, you want to kind of pull on them to tighten, but give them equal pressure so they're so they're even. Looks good. And now, same thing. This one over to the next diamond hole, in the front, out the back, over itself. Same thing over here. And if you don't get this track even and or not tight, you know, you can always go back and, and tighten it all up. Make sure that the, the interlock is sitting in the same place on the diamond so it's even. Make it tight. And do the same thing on the next one. We're going to do this all the way down. So it was um, it was tough figuring out the bottom string. It really wants to bunch up right here, like stick out. So if a ref checked you, you know, if you if you don't address that, it could stick. Um, so just kind of play around with your bottom string, figure out just figure out what'll work. So I'm gonna tie this off. So there, there you have it. A little bit uneven in certain spots. I haven't gone back and fixed it yet. But it's pretty sweet looking. Looks like a decent pocket. All right, I'm gonna do some shooters and then I'm gonna try it. Okay guys, so it's all done. I added a three straight shooters, a nylon and, and two laces. Uh, I took it out on the bounce back and it, it throws beautifully. I love the way it throws. Um, tied it off on the end, just kind of something simple. Just pulled it down tight. You could you could get creative down here. You could do a saddle. You could do anything. But I just wanted to keep it simple. Just the channel a little broad, but you know, not bad at all. Decent pocket. The hold could be better. I may throw a U in it. I don't care if it's illegal. Do what I want. No, it's, it's got a really silky release though, so that's nice. So anyway, that's the deal. Give it a try. It's a fun stringing. Looks, it looks a lot harder than it is. If you post, if you string one up, post it to Instagram. Um, tag me in it. It's probably been done, probably has a name. It's sort of like a reverse corner, but like this, it's, uh, let's, let's call it a corset. Unless there's a better name. Zipper? Kind of looks like a zipper. Thanks for watching. If, uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and click like. Click subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, I just hit 5,000 followers on Instagram. I think I'll do a, a real big giveaway at 10. Maybe like a head, all strung up, custom dye, mesh, whatever. Something big. Look for new videos every Thursday. Ledin. I know it's a weird last name. L-E-D-I-N. You want to say Ledin. You want to say Ledin. But it's Ledin. It's a Swedish name. There's a famous singer in Sweden named Thomas Ledin, which is weird. I actually got fan mail in the early days of the internet. Some Swedish girl emailed me and asked me if I could come sing at her 15th birthday party. I should have been like, yeah pay for the flight, you know, find me a place to stay, I'm there. I'd be like, just rocking it. Like, who is this crazy American dude who can't sing? That would have been awesome.
free trip to Sweden. What am I thinking? All right, adios muchachos. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you want to see more, click the video that's playing in the upper right of this screen. Uh, click subscribe, click like, go check me out on Instagram, Red Star Lax, um, and be excellent to each other.